My name is Danny Antonucci. I'm an animator of some sort, executive, executive producer of Ed and Eddie, um, and I constantly watch Zolo TV. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another interview at Zolo.tv. My name is Gabe Mack and I am here with Danny, the man behind Ed and Fuck Your Ass, Ed and Eddie. Would that be appropriate? To well, we're, it's a kid's show, so let's, uh, let's say Fuck Your Bum. <laughs> we don't want to get too nasty about it. No, but we don't want to talk about Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh, okay, cool. We want, to talk, we want to talk about the good old days and the times before Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yes. Hey, the good old days. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. What do you want to talk about about the good old days? Lupo. Lupo. How did you get the idea for the guy butchering off his arms and stuff? Well, I don't know. I think I, I think it just sort of basically came out of the thing of, of animation always being peddled as, as kid stuff. And uh, and at that time, having only just, you know, uh, what, what was the, like, the raciest thing that was ever done in animation? I don't even remember. I mean, yeah. there was, you know, Fritz, there was Fritz the cat and stuff. But even that was, like, so boring. Yappity yap, yap, yap. It never shut up. So it's like, okay, I want to just get down to the brass tacks. Let's get, let's get down to it and a lot of th another thing too was I think was creating a character that everybody would believe in and so I just came up with this guy who sort of sort of conjured up between my dad and my uncle being Italian and stuff and there were sort of there were like rancid cusses these guys and so it was like a thing of okay let's let's get that whole immigrant landed immigrant fucking thing about you know the the vex of being a North American. Damn these goddamn North Americans and everything else. And we do it better than they do. We've been through the war. Look at these pussies. You know that whole feeling, right? And so I was trying to get it within all that in that three and a half minute cartoon. It seemed to work. Worked out fine. You know, had him chopping up. Actually, you know, I'll tell you, he started off as a barber at first. <laughs> <laughs> it was Lupo the barber? But but. You know the head thing. You can only do so much with the head thing. With with st with meat, there's like so many cuts you can have. So it's like I thought, shit, man, they could do like a whole series on this porterhouses, chops, you know, the whole bit, right? So we thought we'd go with that with that end of it. And then it was having a bad day, and it was playing up on the whole fact of having a bad day. And 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 Loop chops up his thumb, and damn fucking America. That's what it was basically about. Fuck America, you know. And you're Canadian, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, and now <laughs> let's let's get that point clear. I am Canadian. So, <laughs> so uh, like, go fuck Canada is that like? No, it was go fuck America, fuck Canada. <laughs> no, yeah, it, it was, it was. You know, you gotta understand. I was, it was, I was a, a, a first generation. Oh, uh, look at the lighting. Oh, we have to change exposure on there a little now. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, but the lighting is great now for yeah. this. All right, here we go. You guys broke my train of thought, man. All right, we were talking okay. about Go Fuck Canada and Go Fuck America. No, I thought we were talking about fucking goats or something. No? Oh, it was <laughs> fucking America. So, so it's like the thing of that... It, was, it, was, it had nothing to do with Canada or America. It was the thing of ha being the first generation of landed immigrants and living within a household of immigrants and their first time being within North America and that was that was that was the cool thing that was what made me f laugh about the whole scenario so you've got kids now right uh, I do do you let them watch not by choice but I do <laughs> yeah we, we, we know that were both mistakes uh, <laughs> we, we sort of owed up to it but you know I, I didn't believe in, in like killing them but so it's like we thought okay well let's have them and and now I don't know. Fuck. One guy's like selling crack, and the other ones I don't know. But your oh, your, your kids have they uh, have they watched Lupo on you know like the Spike and Mike's Best of uh, oh, DVD? Yeah, shit. Yeah, Te we brought uh, Tex. <laughs> Tex came to the festival when he was like three years old. Tex, there's great. Well, yeah, when we went to La Jolla, <laughs> we went to La Jolla. It was like two no two years old that time. The first time we went down to La Jolla, and so and 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 the cool thing was that. Um, my mom, his grandmom, would take Tex out for walks in the parks and stuff, and Tex would literally be on the, in the middle of the park, 
telling people to bum get a fucking job at two years old and stuff. He would actually literally tell them to do that. And I was kind of proud. It sort of, a little chill came over, over me when I heard stuff like that, even though my mom was a little upset about it, but. Oh, well, let's, let's, let's linger on that moment uh, of the uh, bum get a fucking job. So what about that time when you met your wife? What kind of state were you in? I was total bum get a fucking job. <laughs> And, 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 and the missus, uh, she fed me quite well, and, and she, st she kept me alive during that whole pro- Ah, oh, there she is. She's gorgeous. But anyway, so it's like a thing of, it was like she kept me alive through that whole process, because, fuck, it's, it's like, yeah, like Spike and Mike would actually pay enough for me to live on. But it was like... <laughs> <laughs> it is, uh, uh, the checks in the mail, right? Uh, Canadian money. <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, we did. They were, All right, they were great on the perks, though. So yeah, that's we uh, the good restaurants. We ate like fucking banshees. It was awesome. <laughs> All right, so that's a little bit of the past. Red groupies. The present. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Shh, the wife's here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Skip, rewind, <laughs> fast forward, and forward chapter on the DVD for those kids that don't know what VHS is these days. Um, what uh, what's in the future for uh, for Danny? I don't know. We're like a, we're we're in our sixth season now with Ed and Eddie. What you know? I think there's going to be a changeover happening. I I think I'm going to probably go end up going back to my roots and cause a little fucking problems here and there. I think the animation industry is starting to get a little sterile as it was back then, and I think it's time to stir up the muck. You know. And too many, too many of those stupid flash videos coming out. And stuff. Yeah, we get the little flash. You know, I sorry for the internet guys because you're gonna see this on the internet. But man, you know the flash stuff is real for fucking rank. I'm not into that stuff. <laughs> and you know the, and the fucking and the fucking digital shit. You know, fuck Lasseter and Pixar and all those guys. <laughs> hey, John, you know I love you. I've been there. You didn't complain when I slipped it in. It was fine. So it's like, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I'm just not into that stuff. I want to, want to get back to my roots and, and do some cool fucking drawing shit and, and get back to what animation is supposed to be about, yeah, which is, no doubt. which is about, which is about causing emotions and getting people riled, either being with humor or whatever. And so I, I just want to get back to that aspect of it. Dude, if you designed a tattoo for me, I would so do it. Okay, cool. We'll yeah, do and and Spike, I, have I hear this great one. I have this great one. It's a chain. You do a chain around your arm, yeah. and and it's like girls on all fours, and they each have a corn cob sticking out of their ass, and each girl is like biting on that corn cob <laughs> all the way around. <laughs> all right, and and Spike's got me hooked up with a tattoo artist and crew. So Santa Cruz. all right, we're we're gonna have Santa to Cruz, check it out. Man. All right, so that was very cool. Hey, Danny. Thank awesome. you so much, man. No problem, That's excellent. Man. Keep buying the booze. I'll do these interviews all night. <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> you have anything to say to all the uh, internet geeks out there? Uh, go outside, get some fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Gabe Matt reporting from Annecy. Lanka, Lanka, Schlanka. Schlanka.